Hello there and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a piece that is currently exclusive to the Pick a Brick online service that LEGO does provide. It's a 4x6 with rounded corners which I have spoke about in a video before and I don't know why it didn't dawn on me but I didn't check Bricklink and I have checked Bricklink. It's in none of the February 1st sets at least not at the time of recording this video, as it'd be really embarrassing if it is now. But I'll leave a link to the brick in the description on Bricklink's website, as there's no way to link it through Lego. So you can check it out yourself. It's only just been added to the pick a brick and is a bit of a weird piece to have not been used in any of the sets because we already have pieces that resemble half of the piece. And of course, we just make it up with a bunch of other pieces. But Lego always has to create another piece that really doesn't need it and apologies if you did hear a whirring in that first clip i forgot to turn off my purifier but today i'll be taking that exclusive piece and using it to upgrade my diorama that chances are you've probably already seen and that is of course the mario kart diorama now we've only got two carts on here so you probably guessed right we will be building a third cart out of it but it will look nothing like these two and they might have something other than their red shell and banana debacle to worry about coming up to the finish line because there will be another contender. So stay tuned to the end of the video. We will be adding it to the diorama and checking out just how cool it looks because I really do like it. And I've actually restyled my Sonic diorama. I'll probably make a video on it sometime in the future. Just I've got a load more ideas that I'd like to get out before I start talking about things that... It's already got its own video, so if I don't mention it again, just remind me I haven't shown you the new update to the Sonic Diorama. But let's get straight into the video and look at this new piece. So as you can see on your screen, this is the Bricklink page that I will leave linked down in the description. And you can see that the piece isn't a too unfamiliar piece because we have pieces that are this sort of half oval 2x6, which... You can combine, as I have done for today's video, to make this piece, but it only shows up in two sets spanning last year and this year. Well, technically, it was added to the pick a brick in December, or at least around that November, December time late last year, and that is the first set. And the second set is just the pab wall for this year. So you can still pick it up on lego.com, but as far as official set releases, we have no idea when or if this piece will have a set coming out anytime soon. But people have already started adding it to their wanted list in colours where it just isn't available. It's only available in white and I'm sure that many more people will be picking this up to sell when they realise just how rare it is to pick up. Because it might be cheaper on lego.com but you've still got to spend that £50 to get free delivery. So I did say earlier that the piece can be made using two pieces that already exist, probably are even in your Lego arsenal. But you can see that both of these sort of rounded cornered pieces come together to make that brand new element. And it does mean that if you have any of these pieces already in your Lego collection, you can just put the two of them together and you already have that brand new element in more colours than just white. Which is of course nice for mock builders who will need a few different colours for their builds. But today I have used two of them pieces in white to create the base for this brand new Mario Kart. You can see there are some clear buttons on the bottom which enable the kart not just to hover but also to spin quite nicely because if you recognise the wheels they're not in the orientation that you'd expect from a Mario Kart. In fact, you can see that these look much more like, I guess, typical go-karts and have the wheels in the orientation of any four-wheeled vehicle. However, these are on their side. They've got the nice, very light blue strip, which is almost too similar to the white strip on the side of the car. Again, it's made not too dissimilarly to this. There is that three-layer level on the side only, Instead of having the French flag, we now have the flag of the Netherlands instead. But I have used the white 4x6 piece as the base of this model again, constructed using two 2x6 two elements, as you can see the gap there. And it does work very nice for a Mario Kart. You could even get some of the wheel joints to this play and add some wheels, and it just gives the car a nice rounded edge to it. Of course, 
if we could get some custom rounded slope for the front that slopes up and is also rounded at the corners that would really just complete the mario karts but i have styled this a bit differently to the classic one from the wii game this is much more of a well, I'm pretty sure this is similar to the cart that shows up on the cover of the latest one, Mario Kart 8, as it does have the dual turbine engine at the back, and the engine does still stick up, so all I've done is this fancy technique with these three one-by-one -one clip tiles, which does look really cool. Got two of these taps holding on two of these Fez elements in black, and then, of course, got the orange thrusters, which just show that this vehicle is moving the wheels are technically connected by one stud which gives them a bit of movement but all I've done is included a round jumper tile with a one by one round tile on top. Got these two quarter of a circle tiles being held on by this plate at the bottom which again is just secured a lot nicer with these translucent buttons which are the rounded tile on the bottom and the studs on top and also mean that this does again flow and spins very nicely now just to know it, you mario and sonic fans i have included sonic in the car i struggled enough finding two minifigures for this diorama so finding a third one was even harder and i looked up my sonic mech was staring at me and sonic was just asking to go in a mario kart with mario and sonic olympic winter games and the olympic summer game games i don't see why they haven't come together for a Sonic and Mario Kart game, which honestly, after the last one, they brought back a load of games. They really need to experiment with it, add a bunch of Sonic characters in like they did for the Olympic Games. And that with a Mario Kart based game would just be amazing. It sort of would rival the Disney Speedstorms and all the other versions of Mario Kart that are now being put out. Some eagle-eyed fans would also have noticed a certain character underneath the tree, or at least noticed something under the tree. Here we have my custom Mario Piranha. I keep calling him a PT Piranha. He's not necessarily styled after PT Piranha. He's just a piranha plant. Lego released their own piranha plant, and one day I do hope to get my hands on the official set. But this is the best I could do and closest I could come to a minifigure scale one. Of course, we've got the mushroom top from, I think, one of the old Forbidden Forest Harry Potter sets. I got that in. And we've got the white plates showing off the edge of the mouth and the teeth, which are actually held open by a superhero translucent bar with the stud on the end, the angled piece to get them look like they're in an action pose. One of the leaves from the Friends poly bag and just that modified tile round one by one on the bottom so that it can actually clip down to a stud as you can see where it was. But this is a really cool design that I just wanted to show off for this video. Again, if you want some quick instructions, see how it was made, let me know. I'll whack them in the community tab because though it is quite simple, there are a few complex designs like how I've manage to get the mouth open but i really do like it and we can actually give it to sonic as another item which is why the other two players here don't need to worry about their red shell and banana because sonic's going to come through and get the boost from attacking them with the plant and take the lead win the game from third place as most games are played and i think it does just add that extra detail that this diorama was needing of course the sidelines we've only got the two yoshis and the tree so we really needed that third player that this new piece would add so let me know if you have decided to pick up these new four by six oval element on pick a brick and also do drop a like if you too want some mario minifigures because imagine a mario luigi peach minifigure in these carts that would be amazing but that is all for today's video. Do be sure you are subscribed as this many of you are still yet to hit the subscribe button. And that means you could miss out on some awesome Lego content, especially as we journey on through this year and more Lego sets are released. So please do subscribe. I am trying to hit 700 subs this month and will appreciate all the help I can get. But that is all for today's video and may the bricks be with you always. Mm -hmm.